well, actually, we shot the show in Manchester in the north of England. Yes. And, Which has and a very different kind of accent. It, yeah, and we, we were all discouraged from sounding northern. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, oftentimes when Americans are called upon to do British accents, it is something a bit more broad or a bit more comic or a bit more hoity-toity, posh, mm -hmm. you know. Um, whereas this is a guy who, you know, has the British version of my accent, yeah. which is not much of an accent, you know, I mean, to an English person. They would, I mean, people there are very, um, very much more in tune with accents and placing people on, based on their accents than they are here, perhaps. But yeah, I wanted him to sound um, like a contemporary British person, not a... Uh, Monty Python character. <laughs> how did you come, how to come to that agreement with the show's creator? Did you guys talk about the kind of accent that he would have, or was that just something that? Yeah, um, we talked pretty generally about it. Um, certainly, didn't want it to be too. Um, we wanted him to sound like the character he was, someone who. I mean, I imagine he's from Southern England. Um, he's well educated, so he probably developed some sort of kind of RP, um, received pronunciation kind of uh, feel to his accent, but it's like um, a county's accent they call it. But um, but um, not really. I just I had done an episode of The Crown, and uh, there's a guy who I worked with on the JFK thing, which is his own thing, and. Um, He's the dialect guy on The Crown. His name is William Conacher. And I contacted him and worked with him a little bit, just making sure that I sounded like a um, well, like a real person, but but like a that the, the, the accent was consistent, that, that the different sounds I was making would um, plausibly be coming from the same mouth, you know? 